hey Carly, are you from Tennessee? Because you're the only 10 here at SCOTUS. Do you want to go to Sweetheart with me? Hey SCOTUS, welcome to the Shamrock Factor. I'm Alyssa. And I'm Forrest. Forrest is here with me today because Kelly left for the March for Life. I heard that it's been one of his biggest dreams to be on the show, so welcome Forrest. Thanks Alyssa. This week is Catholic Schools Week, so there will be a few fun activities going on throughout the week. <clears throat> yeah, like having no school yesterday. That was great. I got to stay home and play video games all day. I guess if that's what you're into. Yeah, it was. Uh, tonight the girls and boys basketball teams will be hosting Lutheran High Northeast. And on Thursday, the swim team is traveling to Grand Island. Morgan has more on the swim team. I'm here with senior swim swimmers Kelsey and Ryan. Welcome Kelsey and Ryan. Hey. Hey. Kelsey, what differences at practice are there from switching from diving to swimming? Well, diving it was in the morning and it was like really relaxed and swimming is really hardcore and intense because you have to like keep swimming the whole time and not just jumping off a board, I guess. So my arms are pretty tired from swimming, but it's a better change in the long run, I guess. And Ryan, having nine school records, how does that motivate you every day at practice? Well, I guess I don't really think about that. I just uh, try to look for best times every time and just through hard work, hopefully, um, improve my times at the end of the year. And what goals do you have for the state swim meet? Uh, just to, um, after my taper, just swim as fast as I can and hopefully go really fast. Thank you. Their swimming season has been a success so far. They've had 12 meets and the boys and girls have placed high in all of them. Their next meet is on Thursday in Grand Island. Good luck to all the swimmers for the rest of the season. Thanks, Morgan. Sounds like the swim team is having a successful season so far. Our special activity for Catholic Schools Week today is going to Mass at the end of the day. Everyone always enjoys that. Except me. Well, I'm guessing that's a sore subject with you, so we'll let Jenna take over and tell us about journalism selling activity pictures. Hey SCOTUS, have you ever wondered what the journalism group does with all those pictures they take during the year? I've always wanted to see the ones that didn't make it to the newspaper or yearbook, and now we can. The journalism group is selling all the pictures they take through the year, and Mrs. Rusher is going to tell us what this is all about. Hey Mrs. Rusher, welcome to the Shamrock Factor. Hi Jenna. First, um, I would like to ask you, this is the first year you've been selling these pictures. Um, How did you come up with the idea? Well, in the past, I've had lots of people ask me if they could get pictures that we've taken for newspaper or yearbook mm -hmm. for scrapbooks or other things like that. And so we've been thinking about it for a long time. <laughs> we always break even with the newspaper with our ad sales mm -hmm. so we could use a little bit more income for the journalism department. And we don't want to sell any more ads because they take up so much space in the newspaper. So for a long time we've been trying to think of a way to sell the pictures, to have a little bit more income for the journalism department and so that people can have them for scrapbooks. And if we wanted to go about buying a picture, how would we do that? Well, we have a website of our own, and you can get to it by going to the school website and clicking on the rock bottom link. And then from there, there's a whole list that you can click on for activities to choose from. And on that same page, there's an order form that you can click on the order form, and it pulls it up, you can print it out. So all they have to do is fill out the order form from the pictures that they find on the internet, and bring it to me with their payment and I will email them the pictures. On the website you can view issues of the newspaper. So the issues from earlier this year and we have an issue coming out in February so you can view all those online now. All right, well it's a great idea and make sure you check it out. There's a lot of cool pictures. Back to you Kelly and Alyssa. Thanks Jenna. Be sure to talk to the journalism students if you're interested in buying any activity pictures. I won't be buying any of those because I don't participate in anything. Oh yeah, because you're just in love with video games. Our fun activity for Wednesday is listening to Catholic music and having trivia during lunch. That will be interesting. Yeah, too bad we can't listen to Eminem. I don't think that's very Christian. You're probably right. Now we will turn it over to Hannah to give us the latest on speech. SCOTUS speech is ran by Miss Potts. There are 21 members on the team this year. Congratulations to Joel Ostick, Thomas Schumacher, Carly Burkhart, and Jackson Prokopek for placing in the January 21st meet. The SCOTUS speech team has had four meets so far, and their next one is in Stanton, Nebraska. Conference speech is held February 25th in Omaha, Concordia, and we are hosting districts March 12th. We expect to see great results 
in both conference and districts and a lot of state qualifiers. Good luck with the rest of your season and back to you. Thanks, Hannah. I give credit to everybody in speech because I can never do that. Me neither. On Thursday, we'll get ice cream sandwiches at lunch that will be provided by the Shamrock Club. Oh my God, those. Well, that's good. And since we get to watch a movie or either line dance on Friday, Josh and Austin will give us some tips on line dancing. Hit it, Josh and Austin. Now this looks like a top of me, so everybody just follow me, cause we need a little controversy, cause it feels so Welcome back, SCOTUS, to another Josh and Austin fun time. time. This week's episode is all about Catholic Schools Week. And what we're going to do every single day. Let's go. Whoa, would you get that stuff? Catholic Schools Week? No, they're giving out ice cream sandwiches. I don't care. Oh, yeah, you don't care? Ugh. Yeah, now you care, I bet. Now you care. Well, um, we're going to eat ice cream sandwiches on one day, and then the other day we're going to have music, Catholic music playing at lunchtime. Really? Yeah. Groovy. And there's going to be line dancing this week, so we found some lines right here, so we're going to dance. Well, we were going to show every ending of the movie, but Mr. Sassy said we couldn't. So we're just going to show clips from each movie that are our favorites. Oh my gosh, I'm home alone. <laughs> I'm traveling with my house to Paradise Falls because I always wanted to live there, but some of the balloons are starting to pop. Dang it! <laughs> Hi, I'm Michael Orr, and I was adopted by this family and they're really nice. This is my brother SJ. We're also going to watch the movie Hoosiers. Who's your daddy? <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh! oh. <laughs> Thanks Josh and Austin. That was amazing. Well, thanks for being on the show with me this week, Forrest. No problem, Melissa. I was glad to be here. Well, that's it for this week. See you next time, SCOTUS. Full for four, sweetheart. <laughs> thanks, Josh and Austin. That was amazing. Well, thanks for being on the show with me this week, Forrest. No problem, Melissa. I was glad to be here. I messed up my name. We started. <laughs> <laughs>